It's 2.40, June 18th. Like I said, large-scale witness tampering, large-scale blackmailing. That's intimidating, coercing civilian populations. Also, large-scale bribery may be considered coercion and may be considered coercing a civilian population or using coercion to influence the policy of a government, which is terrorism. So why aren't these terrorists behind bars? Why aren't they getting their assets freezed and seized? And why are they all going to prison? Praise Jesus. And then who's withholding evidence about that? Because that's 20 to multiple life sentences too. And who's accepting bribes from terrorists? And not to mention bribing people to stay silent. You know, that's maybe considered a form of witness tampering. But it also, large-scale bribery, large-scale blackmail. This is intimidating, coercing civilian populations. Large-scale bribe and uh, using uh, bribery and blackmail as a form of intimidation and coercion to influence the policy of the government. That's terrorism. So when are these terrorists going to prison? I'm fed up with this hostage scenario. Let's get these lunatics behind bars. Let's get all their assets freezed and seized. And let's get people who emulate Hitler and slavery practitioners and people who exude pure evil behind bars. Praise Jesus.